Hi everyone, so today I've come to share with you a little um, ephemera digital bundle that I have put in my shop and I will have the link for that down below. So I've already printed it all out and I coffee dyed the backs of them all and then I've, I've cut them all out. Well, I didn't actually cut them out, I used my ruler to do the tearing method. Um, so I thought I would just flip through. Now you get um, 15 pieces in this kit um, and like I said it will be um, a digital form. If you wanted me to print these out for you um, and I would just print them out, I wouldn't coffee dye them or anything, and send them as in a physical um, little bundle, then contact me privately in my shop, not on here or anything, in my shop and we can discuss that because obviously different parts of the world it will be um, different prices for, for shipping but it is realistically it's very flat to ship um, so I think it would be pretty reasonable to ship international so like I said 15 pieces so we have two music sheets and I hope I'm in frame here yes I am um, these are all original pieces of ephemera that um, I have and I have scanned it scanned it in and I haven't I have had to enhance some of it a little bit it took me two days to do that because I'm not really savvy on the computer <laughs> so anyway this piece of ephemera here and like I said I've done the tearing around it so it kind of looks a bit raggedy this is from um, a bank in Amsterdam or I think it's a bank in Amsterdam yep yeah. actually it's an Amsterdam bank but it's based in London okay so this is dated um, 20th of April 1949 then we have this receipt here which is 1949 it's all old uh, this is 1930 I think a bit crinkled because obviously I've coffee dyed it all this here I thought this was sweet is um, a little let's see if I can do this a little trifold and you can obviously fold it better than I have right, and it's, it's like that and on the back here you've got these little slits where you could gently and carefully slit that and you can you can put a photograph in there or you could just stick a photograph straight onto that but that's how that's supposed to be so that was quite nifty and then there's this which I believe that says 1890 so that is really really old really really old um, and we have this this is the 9th of July 1930 this is a um, program for a, a concert which I wasn't not quite sure where that was so wherever Breeze Lane mission is I have no idea this is um, a piece of ephemera that is I think that's German here we just have another receipt I think that's German as well and this here 1949 and that is from Thomas Cook and Sons which was a travel agent here in the UK I don't I don't know if they're still going because I know a lot of them have closed down um, this one here 1927 uh, 1930 again um, and on he on these receipts they had like little receipts that were kind of um, just glued it looked like they were it was gum like a gummy glue if you remember that gummy glue that you could get so I just kept that on there when I scanned it um, and this is a, a, a from a jewelers and that is 1939 and it was for a nine carat gold it says x there bracelet watch and it was eight pounds and 17 p and whatever dot six means so i don't think it was pounds back then um and oh no that's not it. that was an extra one that i printed out in a smaller size so you get 15 pieces and like i said this is digital form but if you wanted I could print these out for you and ship them off um, and private message me if that is something that you would like and we will discuss that so yeah there we go these are great I've actually got a lot more of these that I think I'm going to put um, 
into just a vintage music um, file for like digital file as well so um, the link for these will be below <coughs> if you have any questions just ask and thanks for watching bye